Hello everyone, it's Jen for Heffy Doodle. Today I'm creating a card using the new release Perfect Day stamp set with the coordinating dies. And if you are a cat lover like me, this is the perfect stamp set to add to your collection. There's a bunch of little kitties, the fun cat tree, and the coordinating die cuts out so many of the little features in the cat tree and I'll show you that a bit closer a little bit later. So today I'm going to be sharing with you various ways that you can color the kitties in the stamp set. I thought it would be helpful to share some color combinations for different cats. So I'm starting out here with a seal point Siamese and I'm creating some of the darker patches around the nose and on the face, the ears on the bottoms of this little guy's paw and the tail. So I'm using a four color blend. I laid down my lightest color first, the E23, and then I went in with the darkest marker, so the E79, blending that out with the E18, and then the E25, and then I'll bring that E23 back in. And I think this gives the perfect color combination for that dark brown of a seal point. Once I get these darker patches colored, I'm going to bring in the E49 for the nose and then the E43 to blend out a bit around the markings on the body that we did earlier and then around the outside of the kitty. So I want it to have that light tan or beigey color feel that seal points have and I'm just going to simply blend that out with my colorless blender and our little Siamese kitty is done. So next I'm going to work on coloring a black cat and I find that this color is often the trickiest when coloring images in full black. So I'm going to be using some warm grays for this little cutie here. And I just went ahead and I colored the entire image with the W3. I find that having this W3 as my base really helps with blending the other markers. So then I'm coming in and laying my shadows with the darkest color, which is the W9, blending that out with the W7, and then I will color the rest of the kitty with the W5. So the only time that I'm using the W3 is for that base for this particular kitty. And I'm going to bring that E49 marker back in and I'm going to color his nose in that color as well. Moving on to our next kitty, I'm going to do a white cat and I feel like this could be perfect for a Persian kitty or just a white cat. And so I'm using my C markers for this. So I want this to have a contrast from the warm grays that I used for the black kitty. I'm using C5 as my darkest, C3 as my midtone, and then C1. And you can see here, I'm really just using that color around the outside of the images. So around the various lines, making sure to leave a lot of white space for this kitty. So it looks white instead of gray and of course I'm going to blend that all out with my blender pen. For this kitty I'm going to bring in a little E04 for the cheeks, the ears, and the nose and I'm going to blend that out with the colorless blender as well. I'm going to do an orange kitty here and this is the combination that I found works well. So I'm using the E13 as the light as you can see I just laid that down. I'm going to do very minimal dark shadows for this kitty because he is standing up and front facing. So my darkest marker here is the E09 and then I'm going to blend that out with the E17 then moving on to the E15 and again blending that out with my lightest the E13. Now for this little kitty I thought it would be fun to give him some little stripes so I'm just going to bring the E09 back in and just lightly touch the tip of my marker where I want to add some little line detail to him and I think that just gives him some added character. I will come back and bring in that E17 and just blend that out a little bit. I thought it was a bit too prominent with just the E09 and once that dries it will uh, blend back in a little bit more. For our final kitty that we're going to color here today, I'm going to do this in a beige or tan light brown color. 
This is one of my favorite brown color combinations. I'm using the E35 as the darkest, the E34 as my midtone, and the E31 as my lightest. I will go ahead and color the cat tree off screen just to save some time, but for that I'm going to color it in pinks and from darkest to lightest just in case you want to recreate the cat tree I used RV19, R85, R83, and R81. And for the scratching posts, I used E44, E31, and E51 as my lightest. So once I get these little cuties all colored up here, you can see I'm going over the brown kitty a couple times just to get a nice smooth blend, bringing in that E04 for his ears and his cheeks as well. And I even came back with the E13, my lightest color for the orange kitty, just to blend that back even more. So now I'm going to play with the whiskers here. This was the first time I used the whiskers and I would just recommend trying to get them as close to the nose as possible. I think mine are a little bit far out but still look really cute but just wanted to pass along that tip. So here is my cat tree all complete. I'm going to have our little orange kitty inside the house on the cat tree. I have a cat tree and two kitties and I absolutely love when they're in the little house and all you can see is their head peeking out. So I wanted to recreate that for this card. I just went ahead and cut off his body so he would fit in there and then popped his little ears to the front of the opening for the little cat house. I'm going to have the brown beige kitty sleeping in the little cat bed at the top. This is always the most preferred place on the cat tree among my two. Once I get that one in place, I'm going to add the Siamese kitty to the opening at the bottom and I absolutely love the coordinating die for this cat tree. It gives you lots of open spaces to add cats to the cat tree and this is just a fun little card with as many kitties as I could fit on that cat tree. I'm going to place the black kitty underneath the little pom-pom that's hanging down. He's on his back playing with a little mouse, but I'm going to have the white kitty on that stand above the pom-pom toy, and I thought it would be fun to have it look like that white kitty is kind of looking down and they're both sort of playing with each other. Once I get these all into place, I'm going to flip it over and add some foam tape to the back. This will add some stability and it'll raise it off the card base. For my card panel, I'm using the new Quilted Heart background die. I love this die. I think it looks so pretty cut out of white cardstock or colored cardstock. And I'm going to back that onto a piece of the Heffy Doodle Razzleberry cardstock. Just going to lay a heavy stamp block on that to allow it to dry while I work on my sentiment. The sentiment that I'm using today is to a sweet friend, more like fur and the play on words, which I love. So I'm going to stamp that out with my Versamark ink and I'm going to emboss that with some white embossing powder. Making sure to use my embossing buddy before stamping the ink which will help with ensuring there's no static and the embossing powder doesn't spread on the cardstock. I am going to trim this up with my trimmer and then I'm going to figure out where I want to have this placed on my card. So I already have the release paper off the back of the foam tape behind the image and I just placed that down lightly to see where I wanted to have that. I decided to do a fishtail banner to the right hand side of the sentiment and I'm going to place it to the top right hand side just adding another piece of foam tape to the back of that so it's at the same level as our little kitty friends here playing on their little tree. I'm going to add some final details here. I brought in some Nouveau Glaze for their noses. Just gives a nice shiny raised effect. And then I'm going to add a little bit of detail with a black glaze pen. This is also going to give a little raised effect on their eyes and just also helps the eyes stand out, especially when they're colored a little bit darker. 
I'm going to add a few highlights to the cat tree and here I thought I was done but I'm going to show you I ended up adding some black hearts using the lovely little borders die and I scattered some of those black hearts around the card and added nouveau glaze to those and I thought that just brought in the black from the sentiment a little bit better. So that's the card for today. I hope you had fun coloring some kitties with me. Don't forget to check out the Happy Doodle blog for more information and inspiration from the team. Here's a few more videos to watch. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you really soon.